What's up guys, and welcome back to another episode of Coach Sean's Kitchen. So today, you can see I've got a new setup going on here. I got a microphone, still trying to improve the quality of these videos. So I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments how it turned out. Today, I am gonna show you how I make General So's chicken. Now, General So's chicken has to be one of my favorite recipes that my family had all the time growing up with, and it just has that special place in my heart. If I could eat it every day, I totally would but there's just something about eating breaded deep fried chicken with a cup of sugar water on top of it that I just can't do. So I'm gonna show you how I make it just a little bit healthier. You're not gonna wanna miss it. This is Coach Sean's Kitchen. Before we get started, I just wanna say thank you to you guys, all the subscribers, everybody who sends me messages and encourages me to keep making these videos. And if you're new to the community, Thank you for stopping by and please subscribe. And remember guys, please like, please comment on these videos. It's the single best thing you can do to help Coach Sean's Kitchen. So the very first thing we're gonna do is we're going to create our General Tso's chicken sauce. And this is gonna start with three tablespoons of soy sauce followed by three tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. Then we're gonna add a few teaspoons of hoisin sauce along with about a quarter cup of water. The final two ingredients we're gonna add are some powdered stevia along with just a little bit of cornstarch. You guys know how I love to use stevia in place of sugar in all of my recipes. And the cornstarch is just gonna help us thick it up the sauce a little bit later. So once we've got all of our ingredients added, I'm gonna grab my medium whisk and I'm going to beat these ingredients until thoroughly mixed. Then I'm gonna set them aside until I need them. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is prep a few of my aromatics. And I'm keeping this separate from the items in my sauce because I wanna get a little bit of a saute before I add the rest of the ingredients in here to really bring out a lot of those flavors. So I've got about an inch of ginger root that I'm gonna grate on this microplane along with a few cloves of garlic. The last addition I'm gonna to add to these aromatics is a little bit of red pepper flakes. I love some heat in my General Tso's chicken, but if you're not a big fan of the spicy, just admit these, it's still gonna be great. So the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna prep our chicken. So you can use chicken thighs or chicken breasts. Today, I'm using some chicken thighs because I already had it cut up into bite-sized pieces and food saved in my freezer. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to a bowl along with a little bit of oil and a little bit of salt for seasoning. Then the final two ingredients we're gonna add to our chicken are a beaten egg and some cornstarch. The combination of these two ingredients is really gonna create that light, crispy exterior that we've come to love on Chinese takeout food. Once I've got everything added, I'm gonna set it aside and let's head over to the stove. So I've got a non-stick saute pan over medium heat and I'm gonna add enough oil just to cover the bottom. Since I'm using a non-stick pan, I could actually get away with using a little bit less oil if I wanted to. Once our pan is heated up for about three minutes, I'm gonna start adding in our chicken and I'm expecting these to cook about three minutes per side. The big thing I'm looking for is that golden light crispy exterior. Once we've achieved that all around the chicken, I'm gonna pull it aside. As you can see, I'm only cooking a few pieces of chicken at a time so that I don't overcrowd the pan. Really take your time here to get a good crust on your chicken. Now, originally I didn't plan on doing three different batches of chicken for cooking this and my cameras are rolling a little bit too long and two of them turned off. But luckily, I have this third one going so we can watch the rest, but I apologize for the video quality. So to build our sauce, I'm gonna start off with some toasted sesame oil. Once that is heated up in the pan, I'm gonna add our aromatics. And these don't need to cook long. Think 10 to 20 seconds. You do not want them to burn. Then I'm gonna give my sauce a quick whisk and then I'm gonna add it into the pan. Now, since this is such a thin sauce, it's gonna cook and reduce very quickly. So I don't want you guys to leave the stove after this point. I've got my rubber spatula and I'm gonna continue stirring and scraping the bottom to ensure none of it burns. Once it reaches a good consistency, then I'm gonna add our chicken back in and I'm gonna to toss it to coat in just to reheat the chicken. Once everything's looking good and you've tasted the sauce and adjusted for salt and pepper, this dish is finished and we are ready to plate up. So you can serve your General Tso's chicken with a really starchy carb like rice, or you can opt for broccoli like me. Once I've got a good scoop down, I'm gonna add my General Tso's chicken right on top, finish with a little bit of sesame seeds, and our dinner is done. This is what I dreamed my Chinese takeout would look like when I ordered it. 
As far as how it tasted, the chicken had that nice, crispy, light breaded exterior, and the sauce was wonderful. A little bit of sweet, a little bit of spicy, just a great combination, wonderfully balanced. So if you enjoyed this episode of Coach Sean's Kitchen, please like this video and let me know in the comments what you thought. And as always guys, if you have any questions, please reach out, I love talking to you guys. Once again, I wanna thank you guys for watching this episode of Coach Sean's Kitchen, and just remember, you can make anything homemade and healthy.